Okay, we are finally here. I'm gonna share with you the Uncharted 4 HDR settings. And this is an LG C1 and the PC. If you have any LG OLED, uh, it's going to be very similar, okay? So what we are going to do here is something very extreme <laughs> and very uh, incorrect and weird, okay? Because the game is trying to output 10,000 nits. So, oh, that's garbage. Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, it sucks, but it has a solution. It has a solution, and I would recommend you this over SDR. And I'm going to recommend you this over the SDR trick that I share with you. So what we're going to do here first, and I'm going to show you no spoilers, just this example here. So let me uh, share the settings with you first, and then explain you why. And I'm gonna give you more options that you can try and you will realize that this recommendation is the best option if you really try it. So let me share the settings with you first. So we're going to go, we're gonna come here to the NVIDIA control panel and we're going to uh, select the output dynamic range to limit it, okay? On the NVIDIA control panel. Then on the TV, we are going to come here to game optimizer so I have G-Sync on so we can use this uh, fine-tuned dark areas so we're going to lower fine-tuned dark areas to minus 17 and then we're gonna come here to settings and I'm gonna explain you why a little bit we're going to select black level full okay so we're going to force full range on the TV so we are unlimited right now on the NVIDIA control panel. We're going to force full on the TV and we're gonna use HDR tone mapping off, okay? So these are the weirdest uh, <laughs> HDR settings I've ever uh, shared, but I have a very good uh, reason to do this and I'm gonna show you the results in this single example, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you and I'm going to compare with the rest of the options that I have for you. I'm going to show you this light uh, source here. What I'm gonna do very easily, I'm going to reduce the exposure of the camera so you realize that this is perfectly uh, visible, okay? So let me do that. I have to reduce the exposure. So you see the separation of the light, you can see all the light, the three uh, lights, you know, three tubes that the light has. Okay, that is not possible. Okay, so you can see those three, uh, those three tubes here. That is not possible with any other settings. Okay, and I'm gonna share with you other settings that you can try. So you can use dynamic tone mapping. So you can have full on the GPU full on the TV and you can use dynamic tone mapping and lower fine tune dark areas to minus five, okay? So the game has the black level raised a little bit. So when you open the game the first time, the first uh, screen that you see is black. So it's very easy to see that you have the black level raised and you get rid of that black level raised just with using uh, fine tune dark areas minus three but in my experience, minus five is the way to go because that's just a value that I see in other games. So I'm going to guess this has the same problem. And just to be safe, I'm gonna do fine-tuned dark areas minus five. So you can do that, full on the GPU, full on the TV, fine-tuned dark areas minus five, dynamic tone mapping. But if you do that, you're going to clip this. And I'm gonna share, and I'm gonna actually demonstrate that to you. I'm going to do that and I'm going to share you the results. So you see that uh, this, uh, this is the only way to get this working, what I'm, the, you know, the settings that I'm sharing with you. So I'm going to change this to minus five and I'm going to do dynamic tone mapping full on the GPU and you will see that it is no visible, it is not visible. We're gonna have this on full, so we're going to change the GPU now. We'll see. I'm gonna change the GPU 
to full. Because these are more correct settings, okay? Full, full, we're gonna use dynamic tone mapping. These settings are supposed to be more technically correct, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me lower the exposure to the minimum again. See? You can go back and see the comparison. You can no longer see the separation of the three tubes. That light, you can no longer see it. Okay, so basically you cannot see, you can no longer see these three tubes. Okay, so that's, that doesn't work because the game is trying to output 10,000 nits, that's too much. You're going to get clipping on the highlights. So this doesn't work. The other option you can try for dynamic tone mapping is you can try limited on the TV and you can try minus 23 here so you can try limited on the Nvidia control panel I'm gonna change the settings so you so you see we're gonna do minus 23 here so this is another option you can try so I'm giving you three options this is another option you can try for dynamic tone mapping so we're going to force full here again and we're gonna change the NVIDIA control panel to limit it. So this, the explanation of why this work, I'm going to do a separate video because it's gonna take me a long time to explain that. And I know you're here for the settings of this game. So I'm just giving you three options. So with this option, you, can, you cannot see that. Let me show you. Lower the exposure again. You cannot see it. It's not visible, it's clipping, still. It's still clipping, okay? So the only way to get rid of the clipping is by using my recommended options. And let me also share, let me also show you the SDR, HDR trick. Do you see that that doesn't work either? Let me do that next. So the SDR, HDR trick that I've been sharing with you we do fine tune dark areas minus 11. And I'm gonna have all the settings on the description. So we do minus 11. And I'm gonna show you that that doesn't work either. So it works, it looks perfect, but you're still on SDR. So, <laughs> you know, you're not going to get on, you're not going to get fine details on, on bright objects because you're on SDR. SDR doesn't have that information. So we're going to do 49 here. So minus 11, fine tune dark areas, 49. HGIG, we're going to force limited here. We're going to half full on the GPU. So if this is the first time you see my videos, you might be thinking, man, how is this guy? You know, why, why? <laughs> why, are, why are those settings? Why does that make sense? I'm gonna do a separate video explaining you this new uh, approach. So the other thing we're gonna do here is we max out this slider. So we can use these settings for any SDR game, okay? And with these settings, the game looks perfect. But again, we're gonna look at these details here. Let me lower the exposure. You cannot see it either. So the three tubes, clearly separated you cannot see it okay so the only way to get no clipping to get the best you know perfect shadow detail so you're gonna see everything on the darkness is going to be everything is gonna be perfectly visible the highlights are gonna be much better uh, they're going to be shown much better with with better detail with less clipping is limited on the GPU. These are my recommended settings. Limited on the GPU. We're going to use fine tune dark areas minus 17. Minus 17. We're gonna force full on the TV. So this is back to 50. Gonna, we're gonna use dynamic tone mapping off 
and we're going to force full range on that TV. That's the way to go. And again, let me show you that again. Lower the exposure. You see, you can see. See? You can now see the details on that light source. The three the three lights uh, separated. Okay. So you can see perfectly these three light sources separated. And of course you have a perfect shadow detail you can see on the darkness. So I don't want to spoil anything on the game. This game is full spoiler. <laughs> you cannot show anything. So that's it. Why these are the settings, I'm going to explain you that on a, on the next video because I have to show you some uh, you know, near black test patterns and I have to figure out how can I show you that on a video it's not easy uh, so I can explain you why how I figure this out and explain you why this makes sense show you some also white uh, test patterns so you see the clipping points and you understand why this makes sense but basically what we are doing here is because the game is trying to output 10,000 nits, what I am doing by forcing, so by having limited on the GPU, what is happening is that we are compressing the range of the signal. We're compressing the signal. And by having full range on the TV, we are, the TV is not doing anything. Okay, so the TV is displaying that compress a signal as it is. And what I'm doing is lowering the black level to get rid of the picture being washed out and now we have more space on the highlights that's why they don't clip <laughs> okay uh, so yeah that's the way to go let me know if you have any questions and I'm going to do a separate video explaining you why this makes sense and why it works uh, and my theory okay at the end of the day what matters is how it looks and it looks fantastic I've been playing it like that and I've been playing with all the different settings. I've done comparisons. You see, I have a lot of pictures here comparing. And yeah, this is, but I'm gonna do a separate video explaining why that makes sense. And also I'm going to, of course, I'm gonna do a separate video about the game, the performance, and give you my opinion about the game, okay? I'm not gonna say anything yet. So I'm gonna do that in a separate video. Let me know if you have any questions.